What's up everybody, Kev here back again with another video and today I'm going to be talking about Sling and Philo and basically comparing the two. So in this video it's going to be Sling versus Philo, Philo versus Sling, however you want to put it. We're putting the two up against each other and seeing which comes out victorious. So my opinion and bias aside in this video you can make your own decisions down in the comments below i thoroughly do enjoy both but of course i had one preferable choice and you can probably tell which one that is in the video this video today is sponsored by viper so make sure you stay safe we're going to be wanting to stay safe of course all 2020 not just our health but on our computer and our computer's health too so stay tuned for the end of the video when i talk about the sponsor and how you can keep yourself protected not just in your personal life but also in your technology technology life so let's get into this video so right off the bat as you can see you get 58 channels for $20 a month tons of channels I'm gonna cover that in a minute you can use it on your Roku smart TV Apple TV fire stick fire TV Android TV Android iOS they have applications for all of that you can sign into as many devices as you want but you can only stream three devices at one time you have up to 10 personalized profiles per account and that's awesome kind of like Netflix how everyone has a profile this is going to be your own exclusive profile but for sling they don't have that feature of personalized profiles accounts and I really like that this does have that like I said not a knock on sling at all I really enjoy it and I would highly recommend it but there is a couple things on here UI wise like your interface wise and look wise that I do really enjoy you can have a free trial all you got to do is enter your phone number to sign in and start your trial it says they're gonna check back at a later date to get your billing information so you can unlock your full seven days of free access this is what it looks like it has me send a link to my device and then same thing with Roku when I sign on my Roku it's gonna send me a link text message I open it and allow access and it says you are now signed in once I do that the first time I don't have to do it anymore because it's recognizing me a sling only has kind of like blank tiles up top not their tiles aren't as bright and uh, they don't have as good as features of saving your favorite shows and stuff like that so this has a couple points up ahead of that one for that feature and if I want to pick up where I left off I can go ahead and do that just click on something click on a show click or whatever it's gonna bring me right here and I'm able to pick up right where I left off no problem at all you can favorite your favorite television shows, and when you favorite your television shows, well, those will be the first ones that pop up on the guide. I do like that the tiles are big, bold, they do have images moving in the background, and a little bit of a brief, almost like thumbnail, so you can see what's going on in the episode, as well, of course, a description of each episode, when it originally aired, whether it's a new, all that good stuff. It's giving you all the information that you would need when looking at a TV guide. So yeah, that looks good. Let's check out some more things right now. You got your trending live area, of course, recommended down below. Trending live is simple. It's gonna be whatever is live on TV right now that's trending or very popular at the moment. When upon clicking it, it's gonna give you some more information, which I do like, and a live look at what's going on in the episode in the background before you decide if you fully want to commit to the episode or not search feature looks really good honestly it really just kind of reminds me of a live television netflix the way that they have everything laid out in a really nice easy to use interface that's simple and you can go ahead and search one of your favorite shows it pops right up i have all my seasons all the episodes the video on demand as you can see vod video on demand i'm able to watch that whenever i want Not only that i'm also able to go ahead and see if it's airing live on tv anytime coming up so yeah everything looks really great and i would highly suggest actually using this application now this is what it looks like when you're using it online this is from my laptop and from my computer and we're also going to show you what it looks like on a TV and we're going to show you what it looks like on a mobile phone now I'm heading on over to my TV I am using a 4k 55 inch TCL smart Roku TV with Roku integrated and built in that is the TV I did a video on it and that is also in the description down below if you want to get a little more information on this TV like I was telling you before go ahead into the settings and go ahead and pick my profile now switching over to my profile you're gonna see that it completely changes so remember I was telling you before that on the computer and tablet stuff like that it may be the television show comes left to right and the time is up and down well on a TV it's reversed time is on the top and the channels are on the sides so it is completely flip-flopped and on here I don't know if it's only for the smart TVs but there's an area called top and that's gonna be the top 
best movies and TV shows that are airing on these television channels. So it will kind of be like a suggestion for you. I noticed that the top section was missing on a couple other devices, but for my smart TV, it was there. I'll show you real quick what it looks like on a mobile device. So on my iPhone, we're gonna go check it out. Now I told you I do have Sling as well. So we're gonna load up Sling and see what that looks like because I also wanna give you a comparison of the two. Now Sling does offer, as you can see, this is what it looks like. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. This does also offer sports and some local news channels. Now I don't watch news, that's not what I do. If I do watch any news, it's gonna be Philip DeFranco right here on YouTube supporting another creator. So yeah, I don't watch news and I don't watch sports. I am a sports fan. I do watch football, but not so much that I'm not willing to part ways with it for a better all over package and to save money. So yeah, keep that in mind. Sling is offering some local news channels as well as sports and Philo is not offering that. So now that I'm on my application on Philo, I'm gonna once again go ahead and select my profile. I like the save, I like the DVR, I like that there's more channels for a cheaper price, and I haven't ran into issues with neither of the applications. I do have good, fast, high-speed internet with no data caps, so I'm not running into any of those issues. I am able to watch whenever I want, but I am just enjoying Philo's overall more channels for a better price and the overall better look. I would still highly suggest both. So right off the bat, I'm logged into my sling so I can test it out, review it, and give you my overall thoughts on it and what I think about it. As you can see, it says my channels, click to add to create a list of your favorite channels. So I can go ahead and click that and add channels, or below I can go ahead and add favorites, check out my favorites, or to continue watching what I was previously watching. I pretty much get this one because I only really watch History Channel, Travel Channel, and every once in a while HGTV. So I have these basic channels. I didn't need anything more. I just wanted a few channels that I watch and a couple other things in the background. So I would just select them and it would create a list. And that way, every time I launched up my network or anything like that, I launched up my sling, I would be greeted with my favorite channels right off the bat. Not that this is a whole bunch of channels to go through, but still it makes things easier and less cluttered. So you can go ahead and add that and create a list if you'd like. So now that I've created a list, it says my channels, love it or list it, how far into the episode it is at the moment, and a little bit of more information that I find helpful. And of course you can do rentals and pay-per-views. I personally don't do it. I don't see why you would, not to take away from Sling or anything like that, but I would just use this for regular television. I don't have any need to do anything like that. But another cool option is they do have a on-demand section as well. So if you've missed an episode or something or want to catch up, they do have on-demand of whatever they have listed. So whether it be Curse of Oak Island, Mysteries at the Museum, The Office, there is an on-demand section so you can catch up. And below you do have the option to add more packages, more channels. So say if you wanted a channel, you wanted to grab something, maybe it's missing a channel, maybe you're into Hallmark, Hallmark movies or something like that. You wanna watch all the crazy Hallmark Christmas movies, you can do that and then you would go ahead and just add the channel. It'll tell you what it offers, how much it would be monthly and that way you can add it. And then also customizations on top of that. So you could go ahead and select another package. Maybe you want an MTV, maybe you want a Nicktoons VH1, something like that. You can go ahead and add that as well. Or you can get the basic package, and that's what I do actually like about this, is a simple fact, not like traditional cable. It lets you kind of build a package of what you want with the bare minimum of the things you need. There is a guide. You can go ahead and go through it. We have about 40 some channels, 40 plus channels. If you want, you can customize and add more. But these are the bare essentials the ones that you probably watch the ones that you probably are into i don't need all the extra stuff but if you can see if i went onto my xfinity it has several thousands of channels and it's absolute clutter i'll just shut my mouth for one second and scroll through just to give you an idea of how many unnecessary channels that this stuff comes with and all the stuff that they package on top of it you're getting rental fees for cable boxes you're getting uh hd fees you're getting taxed for all kinds of different channels. It's out of control. They have the different language options. But as far as this goes, I mean, it speaks for itself. Thousands of channels. All of this is actually unnecessary. With the apps we have, streaming services and things like that, don't need 3,000 channels. I'd never watch not even 5% of them. Or you can just go ahead and do the traditional grid guide 
and go through through your channels or like I said in the beginning too you can do my TV and you can go ahead and create your own channel list not too hard to add and not too hard to do at all I do enjoy it it loads up right away it works well of course I can't play a bunch in the background I did load it up to show you the speed that it loads up fast but I can't obviously play network televisions uh, clips on my channel because that's a copyright issue but I did want to at least show you that it launches up fast and works well in the background I do have the options available for what they offer and like I said it was sling blue sling orange or sling blue and orange combined if you do only get sling orange it will only allow you to stream one device at a time you can sign into as many devices as you want but only one stream at a time now I would have went with sling orange because it offers freeform and I actually like freeform for the holidays like uh, 13 nights of Halloween and 25 days of Christmas and stuff like that but I opted for Sling Blue because Sling Blue allows you to have three devices streamed at one time. They also do have another offer if you want to get the ultimate cord cutting offer and that will offer you an antenna to also get your local channels. So you can have your local channels and these basic cable channels. No contracts, no hidden fees, no anything like that. You can completely cancel at any time completely know what you're getting charged for no extra hidden fees and the app is available to watch on apple tvs ios devices roku's amazon fire sticks and fire tvs chromecasts xbox ones air tv players android tvs android boxes and android systems and phones windows lg some of their smart tvs google chrome samsung oculus and that's just to name the few so so if you have no problem streaming already, then this is going to work great. But if you already have a problem streaming and your internet speeds are slow, I would watch out for that. The picture quality is clear, 1080p HD. Definitely like the fact that there's no hidden fees, no contracts. You can leave whenever you want. They're doing good deals. Yeah, I like the option too that you can go ahead and customize channels and add more and just create your own personalized package of the channels you want when you don't need all these extras of thousands of channels. So yeah, I hope this video did help you and now help you have a better choice when comparing the two of whether you want follow or sling. So hopefully this makes that choice easier for you and gives you a guidance of all the packages, what they offer, what they don't offer, and really what suits you best in the pros and cons. So do me that favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if it did help. Hit that bell notification icon if you do want to be notified because I drop weekly content around technology, gaming, all that good stuff and more. I'm going to have you covered right here on this channel. So go ahead and hit that bell notification icon. Again, today's sponsor is Viper, keeping your digital life protected. Go ahead and stay safe at home with all these different antivirus and advanced security options for you with advanced active protection, real-time protection, cloud-enabled security, anti-threat protection, ransomware protection, application patching, spam protection, firewall, anti-tracking, webcam protection, so much more the list completely keeps going on. There are different options for you. You can protect your activity, protect your Android devices, and protect your privacy, all offering different ranges of security and privacy features. You're able to defend against ransomware and other emerging threats, viruses, rootkits, exploits, and so much more for peace of mind. This level of protection is available from Viper Antivirus Plus to Advanced Security. It's also included in the Ultimate Security Bundle. So go ahead, hit the link in the description down below, get your free 30-day trial of Viper Advanced Security, and check it out and see if you like it for yourself. Now's the time more than ever to stay safe and stay protected with so many scams going around, so many people sending fake links, fake emails, fake sponsors. There's been channel hackings. I've been a victim myself, so I take this very seriously. As you guys know, I was a victim of hacking for several months until I got my belongings back. So I take this very seriously, and now I'm staying safe and protected and secured at all times, and I say you should too. Again, click the link in the description down below.